Let adhesive set for an hour. Are you? This is the longest day that has happened on this planet. Welcome to another video. Today is a good day. The only problem is that the main point of this video, the what this whole video is about, I left back at my place. I'm now at my studio, which is 20 minutes away, but that doesn't matter. We still got adventures over here. We still got things we can do everywhere, all over the place. It's New York City. Starting with fixing this whole situation. How you doing, man? Is there like a camera bag that you've noticed has been like picking up in popularity? Pop like a cool. everyday backpack is probably the the everyday. How do you open this? It comes down. Okay. One of the nice things is their inserts are stiff, so you can actually segment. Is this one laptop friendly? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Which one's the roomiest? They make the backpack in two sizes. They make a twenty and a thirty. Yeah, I might take a look at the thirty actually. This one almost seems too roomy. Like up here. I think so. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the smaller one. Appreciate it, man. This thing probably could not be more packed, but the only problem is there's no straps for my skateboard like there is on my last bag, which is... Oh my god, I just realized something. I just got something in the mail that is so perfect for this moment, if I could find it. Flea market, Montgomery, it's just like, it's just like, amen. I just found it. This company Deck Hook hit me up. I'm always so skeptical of new skateboard technology, but then he sent me a follow up after he did a Kickstarter and they raised $40,000. So I was like, oh, true. Okay, I feel you. Apparently, you attach this to your bag and then you can strap on a skateboard and it shouldn't ever come off. It would be a fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. What the fuck? Okay, they're magnetic. It seems like it's like not that sturdy. Then I think you just simply. Oh, okay. Wait, did anyone else out there realize how stupid I was as I was doing that? I put it on the side where my back goes. Alright. Okay, so that makes more sense. And then I think it just droops over the front of the bag. What if you have like a nice white bag? I guess you just don't be a baby. Not that there's anything wrong with babies. How we do? How's it look? Dirty? This feels pretty sketchy. Think we're good? It's just terrifying if I'm on a boosted board going 20 miles an hour. This comes off on traffic. I don't know. Let's try it. Here's to being outside on a beautiful day. We're going back to the apartment to grab this grip tape that the video is about. But on the way, if I find a spot to skate or two, you know what? I'm gonna do that because that's what I wanna do. Session of the day. Oh, I love finding these giant open areas, especially in New York City to skateboard. So right now, see this little square right here? The goal is to skate this like a manual pad. Pretend these lines right here are curves or little obstacles and try to like manual, manual, and do a little fun little fun little fun little fun little. We got a classroom of humans coming out. I'm assuming this means I should leave. There are a million kids coming my direction. You know, the last couple of days I feel so much more comfortable on my skateboard. If you haven't noticed in the last three weeks worth of videos, I've been skateboarding a ton. And it has been pretty serene. And it has honestly been the best. All right, yo, 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 I'm coming back down. It is a fact that if I skateboard one day and go outside and skate around and look at things and film, then by the end of the day, I am a much happier human being. So I need to make those things a priority. I also feel like I've said that on my channel a million times. And then I work all day and I'm like, oh yeah. Isn't there this thing that I was supposed to do, like go outside? All right. We are now here. 
<laughs> what I meant to say is, um, we are now at the apartment and I'm stuck! Okay, seriously though, let me do this comprehensive review. Just for you guys, people have asked me to do shoe reviews because I never do them even though I buy some. And the other day, if you didn't see this video, that's why today I am stoked to skate these New Balance Pro Cords. I had just gotten these shoes. That was only a few days ago and look how torn up they already are. Well, I shouldn't say torn up. I just kind of think the double padding here is sort of an illusion. I will say when it comes to the Sway technology that I was so ecstatic about, it hasn't actually broken that, so that's a plus. But the one problem with every skate shoe when it comes to me, besides certain Vans, is how skinny skate shoes are. My feet are so f***ed up from years of skinny shoes. Just the amount of weight I have to distribute on my feet to ride an electric skateboard. I rode it about three miles, and my feet are ruined right now. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but they hurt. If you don't have an issue with skate shoes when it comes to skinniness, these are perfect. But if you do, if you're out there, guys, and you're like me, and your feet are dying every single time you put on shoes, then Vans are kind of the way to go. Or slip-ons, which I always wear, but you can't really skate these. And here it is, the foam plastic non-abrasive grip tape. It's grip tape built to not tear up your shoes because that was the other issue. I just talked about it. What a weird coincidence. The best part is the only extra skateboards I have are at the office. So let's go back outside and boost three more miles. But as for these guys, we're gonna have to switch up. Much better. All right, here we go. Let's pick out a skateboard. First of all, let's just use this brand new Revive tie-dye. Grip tape, where are you? All right, so the first feature that I notice is new is this white backdrop. I don't know if that has any significance, but that's cool. Okay, so here are the instructions. It says, tips for applying sand edges using the screen provided, AKA that. Trim at a 45 taper using a sharp razor. Razor? Yes, right here. Let adhesive set for an hour. Are you? This is the longest day that has happened on this planet. The biggest issue they were dealing with before is that the sides would come up and it looked pretty bad after a little bit. After a couple of sessions, the sides would come up. Okay, it's very sticky now, which I think is a good thing. Jeez, dude, come on. Jeez! I just yelled jizz. Oh my God. You know it's strong. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. It's a little too strong. Yeah! Oh. Okay, it's insanely sticky. My thumb is holding the whole thing up. Oh God. So I would say with this, you should be very, very careful because I don't think it's as easy as normal grip tape to smooth out the air bubbles. Go ahead and give it a good start. See, I'm laying it down slow. Normally I would be a lot more aggressive and just put it on because you can sort of poke air bubbles if they form. With this, I don't think you could be so lucky. Pretty damn smooth. Razor time. That's a side just roll for your mouth. It has been penetrated, guys. We have penetrated. See, the mistake I made last time as well is I didn't use a brand new razor. So hopefully this will be just like the cat's pajamas. This is very sensual, actually. Oh, God. Oh, no, the ending. Okay, we're good. Wow, looks good. But this is where you would take the grip tape and you would fold it like this and you would scratch it so that it would stay on the edges. But they recommend that we use this. <laughs> Real grip tape stuck to my shoe. So I guess we have to let it sit for a whole hour. It's two o'clock. One hour. Flea market, Montgomery. I'm catching the tail end of the sun right now. It's just about to be dark, so I gotta skate this board as soon as possible. I'm gonna get a, a very introspective perspective on this. <laughs> There's a fight literally where I'm trying to skate. So I'm gonna go across here right now. I am feeling slight slipperiness so far, just a slight. It was way too crazy over there. Anyways, we found a new park right here, completely empty and ready for me just to skateboard on and have fun and relax. It's kind of weird that relaxing and skateboarding go hand in hand with me, but they absolutely do. Relax session right here. If 
here thinking like, what kind of session was that, John? I have no idea. That was weird, I was just on one, I wanted to tinker around and that was the epitome of tinkering. But it also expands the back of trickery that I can have. Even if tinkering seems pointless, I promise that it sort of pays off somewhere. It adds value to your repertoire overall. <sighs> oh no, oh my, oh my god! I literally about to run over a squirrel with my, don't mind me, just cruising on by. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I should get out of the road. Okay, let's do that. Am I alive or am I just hella dead? This has been such a crazy day. The amount of time wasted going back and forth to my apartment to here to do this to da -da 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 has been completely insanity. But I will say for the grip tape, the non-abrasive, non-stick grip tape, non-stick, it's pretty sticky. It did start rising up a little bit on the side right here. I don't know if you can see that, but take my word. And unfortunately, until that problem is solved, this company will be running into that problem. They need to fix the grip tape not coming up on the sides. It's a huge deal. With me, it's a little less serious because I go through boards so consistently, but that's not average. The average client wants to make sure that their grip tape stays on the board and looks pretty the longevity. I can't even construct sentences. Why is it focused not on my It feels a little more slippery than the average grip tape. I did experience actually jumping down a stairs at one time, landing on the board and slipping out because of the texture. I actually do believe they have the chance to replace grip tape if they could figure out a few key things. Make sure your feet are as stuck to the board as normal grip tape and make sure the sides of the grip tape don't come off the board. And then that's when it'll be popping, my good friend. Especially because the price of this grip tape is only $10. Jessup, the cheapest grip tape is $5. So it's in the same price range bracket. I have huge hopes for this brand. That's why this is the second video that I've made for them. I'm there for you, dogs. I back you. You know, I support you trying to create something that I've always needed. You found a real problem in skating instead of creating a gimmick. And I appreciate you for that. And I just fell asleep on this couch, which I think is a sure sign of being like, yo, I'm gonna probably take off. Tomorrow, Willem is back in town, so we're actually going filming all day. We're having fun all day. We're making a mission. We're doing the dang thing. Also, if you haven't had a chance to cop any Progress Daily merch, <laughs> Yeah. It's always so hard for me to end the vlogs at the end because there's so much I want to talk about, so much on my mind that I'm like, yo, these stories that you guys need to know, these things, the information that I got. Today I had a lot of fun, but tomorrow will be even more fun because today I was exhausted. There was a lot of interruptions, but tomorrow will be smooth flowing. Willem will be here. Sarah will be, be Sarah will be here as well. It's actually our anniversary of the time that we met. So we're going to celebrate that dab style. Reverse dab style. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment, all that good stuff. It means a lot. It helps my videos like crazy. For anyone out there showing me support, I want to tell you this. Thank you. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing us. <laughs>